Operations with fractions, part three. Okay, in these first problems, we want to add or subtract. So we have two-thirds minus one-ninth. We need a common denominator, and the least common multiple of this one is nine. So I multiply this fraction by three over three, and that gives me three times two is six over nine minus one over nine. So my answer is five, six minus one is five over nine. In the second problem, we got mixed numbers, so I'm going to turn those mixed numbers into improper fractions. So 6 times 11 is 66, plus 5 is 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So I have 71 over 6 minus 5 times 8 is 40, plus 3 is 43 over 8. Now the least common multiple for 6 and 8 is 24. So I multiply this side by 3 and this side by 4 over 4. Okay, so now I have to multiply 4 times 71 and I get 4 times 1 is 4. 7 times 4 is 28. So that gives me 284 over 6 times 4 is 24 minus and 43 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 129 all over 24. Now I can do the subtraction. I have 284 minus 129. I do my subtraction. I borrow 1 from there. And I have 5. 7 minus 2 is 5. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. So this gives me 155 over 24. Okay, I know that 24 goes into 55 at least six times. Let me check my math. 24 times 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 6 times 2 is 12, 13, 14. So I get 144. So this is equal to 144. And I have 144 or 155 minus 144, I have 11 over 24. And that is my final answer. Number 30. Again, I got a mixed number and a fraction. I want to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 makes 11 over 5 minus 3 over 4. The least common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. So I multiply 5 over 5 on this side and 4 over 4 on this side, which gives me 44 over 20, and 3 times 5 is 15 over 20. So when I subtract 15 from 44, I borrow from the 4, and I get 9 and 2. So this is equal to 29 all over 20, I know that 20 goes into 29 at least once, and I have 9 twentieths left over. And that's my final answer. On these last two, we want to multiply or divide. In this case, we want to multiply. So <clears throat> I cannot reduce these fractions in any way. So I'll just multiply straight across. And this is negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. 8 times 4 is 32, and that's my final answer. Um, I don't, nope, cannot reduce that. On number 34, <clears throat> I says 4m divided by 5m over 9. So we're going to convert this from a division problem to a multiplication. So we write 4 over m, we change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and we take the reciprocal of this fraction and rewrite it. So I have 9 over 5m. We can't reduce these numbers in any way, so now we're just left with multiplying. 9 times 4 is 36. Uh, 5m squared is on the bottom, and that's our final answer.